Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, we're looking at the deck, the, the famous Vikavolt Aegislash Necrozma deck. We're going to be trying it out today on PDCGO, and you know what, the person who hit me up, who made this deck, who kind of, you know, presented it to Yellow Swallow and whatnot, he basically was like, yo, I got a cool idea for your crazy combo deck. And uh, me and him were kind of just talking back and forth, and we came up with some ideas for the deck. And we were figuring out different tech cards to expand the deck and maybe make it better. So this is what we ended up with, what I ended up with too. We got stuff like Clefairy in here, and we also have Vikavolt GX. And we thinned down the Aegislash line to a 3-2. So this is our end result of Vikavolt Necrozma Aegislash. We'll see how it works. And uh, you know what? I'm feeling pretty good today, you know. I had a pretty crazy week. Um, so, you know, it's pretty nice just to let all that excitement and joy out in a video. So, this deck is kind of cool. It, it's a pretty unique idea. Um, I gotta give that credit. Of course, Vika Volt has the ability Strong Charge. Once you're in turn, before you attack, you may search your deck for a Grass and a Light Energy. Attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. This is how you're gonna build up your attackers with Vika Volt's ability. Um, we obviously see Vika Volt all the time with Tapu Bulu. But we're going to be using it with the Aegislash. Now, Aegislash is a very cool card. And thanks to the amount of spread cards we have now, like Weavile, Necrozma, Tapu Koko, Aegislash is actually kind of cool. It's got the attack Painful Sword. Double the number of damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. That's insane. Now, how we're going to be manipulating that is with stuff like Necrozma, GX's Black Ray. We're going to Black Ray our opponent, do 100 damage to each of our opponent's EXs and GXs. And then we double the pain with... Aegislash's attack, and they get knocked out for a lot of damage. Now, it's a very good strategy, and it works very nicely. We also have Tapu Koko in here with Flying Flip. Flying Flip on all, uh, gives us a free retreat cost, but also gives us the ability to just spread 20. Sometimes you need the 20 spread. Um, you know, Necrozma won't always work. One of the big issues with this deck you can run into is when you're playing against a non-EX-based deck. Something like Greninja, you can't Black Ray Greninja, so then your Necrozma kind of gets shut down. So then you're kind of forced to Electro Cannon Greninjas or Flying Flip the Greninjas. Um, but now we have Vikavolt GX. Vikavolt GX has the attack Gigatron GX. Now, if we don't want to use Necrozma's GX attack, we also have access to Gigatron GX. And this is how we're going to be able to just swing on Greninja. Um, we just 60 damage to the Greninjas. I mean, they're not going to get knocked out from Double the Pain, I don't think. But it's still pretty nice to do. And... We're just going to smack them with Gigatron GX. We also have uh, Zap Cannon and Charge Beam. Both are good attacks. Um, Super Zap Cannon can be really good. Sometimes, you know, there's something in the way like a Nine Tails or something. We get a Super Zap Cannon and knock it out. We can also hit it with a Charge Beam. Maybe Charge Beam can be good to build a Vika Volt GX. It can be just a nice non EX attacker. Sometimes if the spread just won't work, we have access to Vika Volt GX. But we also have it for Gigatron when we're playing against something like Greninja, where Black Ray is entirely useless. We're also going to be running one Clefairy in here. Clefairy has the attack Metronome, and Clefairy is a really underrated tech card right now, but it's got a Metronome. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks, or active Pokemon's attacks, sorry, and use it as this attack. This could be great to copy any attack we want. Again, it can be very nice. Sometimes we can copy spread attacks, sometimes we can copy big damaging attacks. Again, sometimes the spread won't always win you the game, so we have Clefairy. One thing that can always happen is you might... Your opponent can always take up the Haunt Edges. After you Black Raid, you can't really double the pain, so you have Clefairy. And since you've already taken 100 damage, you can finish them off with like a Metronome. So one one prize attacker also is better than nothing. And we got our two Tapu Lele's, of course. For Wonder Tag, best ability in the game. We also have Energy Drive 2, which combos nicely with Vika Volt because you can power it up pretty quickly. And you can do like a good amount of damage with Tapu Lele in one turn thanks to Vika Volt Strong Charge. We got our three Grubbins. We do not play any Charge Bugs. We're just going to straight up rely on Rare Candy with this deck. Um, just Rare Candy is how we're going to be getting our stuff in play. It's how it's going to work. And yeah. So we'll take a look at every other card in here. We'll go to the items first. Uh, we got one Energy Recycler. This is great with Vikavolt to be able to recharge energy. The thing with this deck though, we're not really discarding energies other than with Vikavolt. Right? If we're going to use Vikavolt's Attack Electro Cannon for 150, we have Energy Recycler. But we're not going to use it because we're not like playing Vika Bulu where discarding energies is always going to be a thing. I mean, we're going to get knocked out and we're going to lose energies, which is common, so that's kind of why we still have it. We're going to go one blower. This deck is a little kind of clunky um, for space, but we are going to be running one field blower. You know, 
You can probably still function nicely without, you know, the garb. You do lose strong charge, but you still have DC and stuff like that, so it's not bad. Two Heavy Balls. Now, Heavy Ball's great in here because it searches out your Volt GX, but also grabs you an Aegis Slash. If you have Heavy Ball and Rare Candy in your hand, and you've already put down either the Haunage or the uh, Grubbin, you immediately will have access to one of the two Stage 2 attackers, so that's pretty cool. Heavy Ball has some really good synergy with this deck. We are going to be running one Nest Ball. Nest Ball's important, just slap down a Pokemon, um... You know, sometimes you're going to miss your Bridget. We do play a lot of ways to get Bridget. We have four Ultra Balls for the Lele. We got two Leles. We got two Bridgets. So we do have good odds of hitting the Bridget. But if for some reason we don't, we got Nest Ball just in case. Um, four Rare Candies. We're going to just maximize Candy to be able to get your Vikavolt and your Aegis Slash in play. One Rescue Stretcher to be able to shuffle back our Pokemon. You could play Super Rod too, since it goes with the theme of Vika Volt and Energy, but again, we're not playing Vika Bulu. I think Rescue Stretcher works better. Being able to just get the Pokemon straight to your hand is a lot stronger in a deck that relies on Rare Candy to get Pokemon into play. So that's why we got the one Stretcher. Four Ultra Balls, of course, we're going to search out our deck for our Pokemon. We got two Bridgets. We want Bridget turn one all the time, so we're going to play two. You could even bump this up to three, but then at that point, it's like... If you already play your Bridget, you know, the other two are kind of just dead cards. We got two Guzmas. We're not really too Guzma crazy with this deck because it's a spread deck. We're going to be winning regardless of Pokemon being on the bench or not. So we're just going to go with two Guzmas. Still important to have. Sometimes for the retreat. And sometimes you want to trap something to Black Ray them or Painful Sword them or something like that. Or stall for a bit. Like, you know, stall something, flying, flip it. Maybe Guzma Metronome is the right play. We got one Hala. Now, the cool thing with this deck, we're not actually be running that many Professor Sycamores. The reason for that is because Sycamore discards a lot of cards. We don't want to discard our rare candies. And honestly, you could take out Sycamore entirely if you wanted to. But we're not going to. We're going to be running one Hala. Again, Black Ray will happen very quickly. And then we got Hala instead of Sycamore. Four ends for draw support. Um, we got two Sycas. Again, we don't want to discard Rare Candy. Like, we might have to end up sycamore in away a few cards we need. We're still going to play because it is still Professor Sycamore. We got two Skylas. Three is honestly even stronger, in my opinion. But I'm going to go with three today. Or two, sorry. Uh, with two Skylas, you can just Skyla for Rare Candy. And then there you go. You got your you got your Rare Candy. Two Floatstones. A lot of stuff have bigger treat. There's no need to play Choice Band. We don't really need, you know, Dumbbells. Um, we don't need... Uh, what was that card? Uh, we don't need... Oh, I can't remember the card now. Bursting Bloom. That's what I was thinking of. We got Bursting Bloom. We don't need that. Stuff like that we don't need. We just honestly need the float. It's all about spreading and winning. This is a certain win condition. Uh, we might regret the Choice Band if, of course, you know, we need the 180 to knock out, like a Drampo or a Tapu Lele, but, you know, it's whatever. Four DCEs. Everything is DC. Very good with Super Zap Cannon, by the way. Three Grass Energies and five Lightning Energies is the energy we've gone with today. And this is the Vika Volt Necrozma Aegis Slash deck. It's a fun deck to play. It's cool. So let's go try it out on PC. You'll see in action. I us see this deck has some potential for being a cool rogue deck. All right, guys. Let's go player. find the games now with our Vika Aegis Slash deck. We'll see if uh, this deck works out for us. And uh, who knows? Maybe we get some pretty good matches win with it. Looks like we're up against a water deck. Could be Greninja. Which, you know, if it is Greninja, that'd be kind of ironic, because Yellow Swallow is first... Ma oh! Ow, what the heck? <laughs> oh, I just... I gotta cramp my foot. Right in the middle of my... Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, whatever. My foot kind of, like, got a little cramp there, and it hurt for a sec. Oh, man, yeah. It's kind of funny. If it is Greninja, which it probably is, it could be Ninetales, but... I don't know, like, there's no, like, Tapu Leles or, like, Orangaroos or Tapu Cocos or anything. It's just pure water, so... I'm either guessing it's gonna be, like, a water box deck... Or a yeah, it's either water box or a um, Greninja deck. Could be Nine Tails, you know, you, you know, you never know, but we'll see. Uh, we do get the Turbon Bridget though, thankfully. And we also have a Skylus so that can uh, do good. It is water box. Okay, I'll, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. This is probably one of our best matchups because water box is all about putting Pokemon into play that are GXs like Lapras, Manaphy, stuff like that. I think we can try and win here. We're going to go Bridget for Grubbin. Grubbin, I guess, Necrozma? Because so we can attach a Light Energy to it. But I don't really want to... Do I want to reveal the Necrozma now? I don't know. Let's just check if Vikavolt GX is in the deck. It is. Okay. I don't know if I want to reveal Necrozma now if I want to wait a turn. I feel like if I wait to play Necrozma, I'll be better. I'm going to put a Coco. I'm going to guess. But I don't want to like put it into play and like reveal that I'm playing Necrozma here. But, I mean, I might as well, right? I don't really see any harm in that. 
It's fine. He's probably gonna end up putting a lot of Pokemon down anyway, so I'll just be like, well, I play Necrozma, so if you don't, if you don't, you know, play any other GXs, you might play like something like maybe an Octillery, maybe an Orangaroo. Oh no, no, he doesn't. Play. It's just water. But yeah, this is fine. Plays a Nolan Nine Ninetales, which I can also deal with. So you know what? It's all GXs. Nine Tails is a bit of a pain though because it can just bounce all the damage off. So we'll see if that ends up happening here. And just a collect for three. Now, all I did was Nest Ball, so I don't even know if I want to um, do the end, because I don't even know if he has anything. We do find an Ultra Ball. So, I mean, I might as well just Ultra Ball here, thin out the deck a little bit. I'll let him, I guess. I mean, he has a pretty big hand, right? I don't want him to, like, get Max Elixir Spamage going on. He has Free Retreat with Mana Feet, too, so I'm surprised he didn't go Beacon. Yeah, whatever, we'll let him. We get Rare Candy, but we don't get any Pokemon. None of our Heavy Balls, none of our Ultra Balls. Pretty brutal. I think I'm just gonna put an energy on Haunage and pass. That kind of sucks. We uh, we are not looking in a good spot with that hand. It's not a very good hand. Please end me. That's all I gotta say. Is please end me. We'll see if our Garmin goes down here. Yes. Okay. He's ending me. I knew it. Um. So yeah. Now he could be playing Baby Nine Tails too. You never know. He might be like. Maybe a little Nine Tails is too much. He's like, ah, screw it. We're gonna play the Baby Nine Tails, which we can obviously deal with. We have Vika Volt, so Max Elixir. Don't really know. I mean, you build up Volpix, I guess. That's a little bad. Brooklyn Hill. All right, so that's gonna give him. Oh, it is Baby Nine Tails. I was right. Okay, that's fine. We can obviously. I mean, even Coco. Actually, no. Wait, never mind. I thought Coco did 110 damage for a minute. Um, but yeah. So he puts a Brooklyn Hill down. Be my guest. Put another Lapras in play. That's fine by me. This gives me more reasons to uh, fly and flip him here, actually. Hmm. I think I'm going to go fly and flip. If we have another light energy in the deck, I don't know. We'll Ultra Ball and check. But if we do, I think I'm going to Guzma the Ninetales out. And I'm going to fly and flip and try and do some Cocoa Spread before I go for Necrozma. Oh, he's going to Blizzard for at least. Maybe I should just Necrozma him now. I don't know. I didn't even realize he had the Knockout. Oh, oh man, unfortunately, I don't think we can pull this off. Yeah, we could. We can get double stage twos in play, but unfortunately, we would have no cards. Yeah, it's not even going to work out. Never mind. So, rip us. We're not going to be able to do this. We're going to give up a rare candy here, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. Uh, do I want to just go Brooklyn Hill? I don't. I know I don't play anything, but might as well check. Okay. I guess we'll Sycamore. We could maybe... Hmm, I'm thinking how Clefairy would work in this match, I don't think it would. Okay, we do find another Grubbin, which I think I'll put down. We didn't get Rare Candy, this is where I want to play, uh, what's his face, Dewblade. I think Dewblade would be needed, or even Charger Bug, because we could have Ultra Balled here. Um, he's not attacking me, so, I mean, I might as well just fly and flip him here and just wait. Cause this way, if we black ray and nine tails, I don't know. I think I, I think I'm fine with that. Well, we're not guaranteed to get Aegislash slash and play next turn either, right? So I don't mind this play. I don't really mind flying flipping him here. It might as well, right? You know, he's not attacking me. He could retreat in a Vulpix, but that just gives me more reason. All right, let's just go fly and flip. I feel like it's the best play. You could put down a Wishy Washy, and then I'm probably going to end up kind of regretting this. But at the same time, if he puts down Nine Tails, we can hunter damage it with the Black Ray with the fly and flip we did. Then Double Pain would knock him out. I'm pretty sure. I don't think Double Pain actually. Don't know. I don't, I don't even know honestly. I just I think we'll knock him out because he'll have a hundred damage on him. We'll, we'll see. Might as well just fly and flip because then we can knock out this. Obviously, we're not able to Black Ray it. We're going to see an Ultra Ball game. We have an Energy Retrieval and an Energy Switch. So there's the Alola Ninetales. He does play it. Now I'm hoping this last card in his hand is not an N or a Sycamore. It's an N. Okay, great. Now we'll see if he plays Baby Wishy Washy. If he does, I'm going to be a little upset because we're going to go down. But if not, that's fine by me. We get another Vika Volt. Unfortunately, we aren't able to do much. I think what I'll do is I'm just going to Skyla for Heavy Ball. Hmm, I don't know, actually, he's just gonna bounce the damage. Thank you for putting another Pope. Now I don't even care if if you ice path me. Now I don't even... Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's Skyla for Heavy Balling before they're both prized. Um, we do have Aegislash, right? Just making sure. Okay, we got one in the deck. Alright, cool. 
Aegislash does have 140, so luckily it's actually not going to be... I was thinking, can Aegislash be knocked out by Ice Path here? But it's not. It's going to live with 20 HP, which is pretty sick. Okay, let's go Strong Charge. Okay, we got the Lightning, good. Um, don't really know where I want to put this energy. I guess we'll go... We'll put all the energy on Necrozma then, I guess, and... Sure. Alright, so where do I want to put this energy? I don't know where to put it. We're down to our last rare candy, so that's kind of interesting. Might as well put it on Aegislash, right? I could put on Lele too. Yeah, let's put on Lele. Lele can also be a pretty good attacker here. We're going to Black Ray GX him. He will probably Ice Path him, but I don't really care because he's got three Pokemon in... Oh, we knocked out Manaphy. That's right. Derp. <laughs> Rip me. Forgot we're knocking out Manaphy. We get more energy, which is nice, and then next turn, we're actually going to win the game. So, if he doesn't play Max Potion or Manaphy from Shiny Legends, we win the game here. So, uh, let's see. He can Ice Path me, but it doesn't matter, because those Laprasses have taken enough damage. Plus, we can always Guzma, Lele, knock him out if it comes down to that. But we're trying to win the game with Painful Sword. We're not trying to win with Tapu Lele. we got to just Painful Sword him. So let's see what he does. He can bounce. Unless, the only thing he can really do is knock out Mega Slash. That's the only thing that guarantees him that he won't lose next turn. Like a nice pass. Just, uh, does he not know what Mega Slash does? Oh my god. I knew he was going to heal. Oh my gosh. I knew he was going to heal. Ah, it's so annoying. Bruh. I knew he was going to heal. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. I knew, <laughs> I knew he had something in his deck, like a big Masalda or like a potion or something stupid. Oh, wait, huh? He's bringing Lapras? Um. Okay. Okay, and that's game. Alright, um, never mind. <laughs> never mind. What just happened? What in the world just happened? Did we actually just... Okay, I, I I don't know what my opponent did there. He obviously... He actually could have prevented himself from losing there, but, you know. I'm not going to complain. We're going to take out the Nine Tails. We're going to take out the Lapras. Win the game in one painful sword. That is how you do it. Don't know why my opponent went to Lapras there. I mean, I guess he was trying to stall and then he was going to... Guzma? My, uh... Aegislash? But... I don't know, that was a very weird play for my opponent. Um, but we are able to win. That's all I care about. We even got a bunch of coins. Unfortunately, I'm trying to save up for Crimson Invasion, which is going to drop very soon. It's October 14th as I'm recording this. So, Crimson Invasion. Um, saving up for that. So, there's that. Of course, we're going to get another match with our deck. I might just get one more game. I feel like that game was perfect. We kind of showed up the deck in the best succession we could have done. Oh, sorry, I'm really thirsty. Your throat's really dry today. All this talking to making videos gets me really thirsty. Oh, Metagross. Now, Metagross is kind of tricky because they can max potion the Black Ray you do, but we'll see how this goes. We already won a match, so I don't even care if we lose. I'm just happy we actually won the game and showed off the double KO with Painful Sword, so uh, it's pretty lit. Could have gotten six prizes, but nope. It's all good. We do get turn one thing, which is good also. Kind of at the cost. We have to get rid of something here. I don't know. We'll see. Kind of wish this was a Vika Volt, not an Aegislash, too. Another DCE. Alright, we're going to have to sacrifice double colorless energy here. And I think we'll have to sacrifice... I guess we'll get rid of a Lightning. We have this in our hand. I guess. It's fine. We'll Lele for Bridget. And before they're both prized. Okay, so let's check the deck. Okay, two ends are prized. One Sycamore's prized. One Skyless prized. Oh, no. What am I saying? One ends prized. One Sycamore's prized. One, I think two or one lightning energies are prized, but I think we have all our grass energies. And all right, our Pokemon looking good. All right, cool. Now, the thing about this, we can just fly and flip them for now. I think that's fine. We can put some pressure on a flying flip next turn. So we'll bridge it here. I'm not going to put the energy down because I want to just put some early game pressure on the flying flip. I'm going to try and go for Vikavolt GX this match just so I can... Take advantage of my DCs being the discard. I don't know. I'm just uh, trying to think. We'll just grab double Grubbin. I'm not going to grab Necrozma quite yet. 
kind of revealing what I kind of have. I mean, I'm pretty sure this dude knows what kind of a deck this is, but let's see if uh, he he knows what's going on. Best case, he ends me here, or best case, we top deck like an end ourselves. Maybe, I mean, Sycamore wouldn't be bad either. All right, he's going to bridge it. That's fine. We're going to fly and flip him here. We're going to spread some damage, and this is how we can deal with it, because he's going to try and beacon to build up his field. That's fine. We're going to have to do Skyla, though, for like a, a Sycamore here, which I'll have to do. I could obviously get an Aegislash Slash down too, but there's no Vika Volt. We got rid of two energies that we had in our hands, so there's no way Aegislash Slash is going to get going right now anyways. So, it's fine. Plus, I don't know if he wants to Mac Potion any Flying Flip spam we do, so that's another possibility. Unfortunately, our Coco goes down to Metagross. Coco has 130 HP against Metagross because of that resistance to Meta. But Metagross can still knock him out, so it's kind of sad that uh, Coco still gets killed by Metagross. But, he'll Beacon here. He probably has Rare Candy in his hand. He does. Of course he does. Um, alright, so what do we top deck here? Oh. The tables have turned. Um, I still think it's better to Skyla for like a... I mean... I get... Nah, there's really no point going for the... I don't like that. Like, we could... We can get Vikable down. We could actually knock him out. Okay, no, we can't. Never mind. Alright, yeah, I guess we'll grab like a Sycamore here. It's fine. Do we have Thresh of Treacher in the deck? Okay, we do. All right, we'll we'll go Sycamore. I don't mind that. Still gives us a turn to maybe draw into something, and uh, we'll fly and flip him here. And uh, now we're putting on some good damage. Uh, that's fine. I mean, I could have gotten a Vika Volt down, but I would have a dead hand. Even though I'm mean, thinning out the deck with strong charge, you saw that a few of my supporters are prized, right? So the draw isn't very good. Hmm. He didn't have the rare king. Oh no, he does. He had a really good hand. Holy cow. I should have maybe grabbed an anticipating algorithm. It's my bad. Oops. I don't even know what he can grab though. What does he like he need? He's already got two metangs. He doesn't really need any rare candies. He doesn't need choice band. So I don't know what he's going to grab here. I guess we'll see. I don't really know what he needs. Uh, if he didn't have any metangs down. I mean, yeah, he grabbed two Metagrosses, I guess, maybe a few energies, but that's honestly not a good algorithm, if you think about it. There's all... I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking crazy. I mean, it is still good, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I sh Can we top deck an N or a Tapu Lele, then? <laughs> I should have grabbed N, but whatever, it's fine. I can still stick them on. Draw more cards, but maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I'm not. But yes, he's taking a while. He doesn't really know what he wants to grab, right? Because he's already got a decent board position, so... There's really nothing he truly needs. So you can kind of see why I told you algorithm was kind of weak. Yeah, so he probably didn't know what he wanted to grab there. He's probably like, ah, I don't know what else I need. Okay, okay, I guess that's fine. We can energy recycler back in energy, which, you know, at least it's something, right? At least we're not burning it. Unfortunately, we are burning two of our main Pokemon, but we got Stretcher. Ooh, almost got the double play here. Almost. I think I'm just going to attach to Necrozma. And I think I'm just going to go fly and flip. <laughs> we get the end now, but that's fine. We'll fly and flip once again. And Vulpix will be knocked up a painful sword. Matang won't be. I think. Actually, no, Matang would be. Alright, never mind. I knew he grabbed the Metagross. We'll see what else he grabbed off that algorithm. He might have grabbed maybe like some Ultra Balls, maybe a Guzma to try and knock out my Vika Volt or something. Even though Vika Volt. Pardon me, sorry. I just burped up a little bit. I hope you didn't hear that. But yeah, I think Vika Volt survives, so. Yeah, he's got resistant metal. I figured he would try and get to do that. That's cool, though. At least we have black ray targets, right? We get black ray, black ray, black ray. I don't really mind Coco going down either. Gives us time to black ray him. Just gotta watch out for Max Potion. That's the thing I'm most scared about here. See if he grabbed any. Oh, he did. Alright, thank you for burning Max Potion now after before I black ray you. And also, he's ending me, which is perfect, too. I'm fine with that. So, yeah. Thank you for using that max potion when you had 40 damage on you instead of 100. Um, greatly appreciated. Ooh, rip. I was hoping we would find... I think I'm just gonna have to Lele here for, like, a Sycamore. Or, no, an N. We're at the end him here, yeah, because we didn't get anything. Alright, we'll bring out the Necrozma. I'm gonna attach a Grass Energy, too, because I don't know if... Or that. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna Ultra Ball. I don't really want to lose my Tapu Koko, but we do still have a Rest of Stretcher, so it's not that bad. We'll grab Lele. We're gonna have to end him here, right? Yeah. I wish we did Black Ray before we could Hollow. He's only got three Pokemon in play, too. 
I don't know how many max potions he runs, but we'll see. Can... Let... Let's use the regular art in, you know, for the memes. Let's see, do we have all our candies? Okay, we still have one candy, or three candies, sorry, so... Yeah, hopefully we can find a heavy ball and a rare candy here. We haven't used them yet, so yeah, hopefully we can find heavy ball, rare candy, get Aegislash and play. Let's see. Stretcher works too, but I don't know if I want to do it right now. I'm not going to lie, I might want to save that. I drew a bunch of energy too, that's brutal. I think I'm going to black ray him and see what happens next turn. We'll see if he max potions. He might, I'm hoping he doesn't. I'm hoping he only plays two. Max potion would be devastating here, but that's what happens. Okay, he has the choice ban, so we're going to get knocked out. Sycamore, yikes, please don't get max potion. Please don't get max potion. Hmm. Please do not have max potion. Oh, yee, oh. oh I thought he attacked me. Please do not have pokey gods. Please don't have the max potion. Don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. Yes! We win. Bruh. I think we win, right? Yeah, because. Okay, we're. we're oh. Bro, did we just do this? Oh. Uh. Oh my gosh. I think we win. Okay. Him <laughs> before we, our energy's prized. Um, okay, we better have an energy in the deck. <laughs> before we jump the gun. Alright, good. Wow. I was not expect. I honestly wasn't expecting to beat this deck. Like, it is Metagross. Like... I was not expecting to win at all. I got so lucky. Thank you for not getting that max potion. But that is how you beat Taking seven prizes there. We took seven prizes. Oh my god. This deck is nuts when it gets going. Rip my opponent. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, that was nuts. Wow. I think that just warrants the end of the video. It might be a bit of a shorter video today, guys. But that was still lit. We got some really good games. We won on, like, a clock. Those were some fast games. We got a pretty good showcase. We didn't show off the Clefairy, so I guess you can take Clefairy out of the deck. I don't think you did. Um, I guess before we end this off, you guys can click off the video now. You know, thanks for watching. Subscribe to me on the road to get subs. But, um... We'll, uh, quickly check out the deck. And I guess we'll, like, go over what you can take out, what you... What you could put in, what you can take out. I think you can take out Clefairy. I didn't even use it that much at all, so I think you can take it out. Um, you can probably, yeah, you can probably remove Clefairy. I never used it. I don't know if there's any Shiny Legend cards in here that you could put in. Maybe, like, Zork? I don't think Zork would be needed, though. I don't know. If you're, like, the craziest human on the planet, you could probably put in a Zork, but that would be a little weird. Take out your Sycamores, you could probably throw in Zork. But this deck is already kind of tight on space. On the bench, anyways. Uh, yeah, apologies for the cards loading in so slowly. But yeah, this deck is pretty fun. Again, I think you can take out the Clefairy. I didn't use it. I think maybe a third Aegislash is needed. Or if not a third Aegislash, you could throw in a Dewblade or a Charge a Bug. Maybe even a fourth Grubbin. Um, what I would do, you know, the options you have, you can take in, you can put in Dewblade, third Aegislash, a Grubbin, a fourth Grubbin, a Charge a Bug. You can also throw in, not Espeon, because you want to win with Painful Sword. But if you want Espeon, if you're like, if you're not relying on the win with Aegislash, if they shut it down, you can put an Espeon in just so you have the win that way. You can also throw in a third Bridget. Bridget would be really good. Like, three Bridgets, I think, is actually better. Maybe, I think you can maybe take out a Professor Sycamore and throw in, like, a third Bridget. I don't know if you would want to do that, though. It's up to you, though. Maybe you can throw in Octillery or, like, an Oranguru, making room for those guys. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our PDCGO content. <laughs> Help me on the road to 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2K, so, you know, we're, we're on the road to 3K. I don't know how long it'll take me to get 3K, but it will. But, yeah, if you're not already sub, sub to help me on the road to 3K. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in another PDCGO video. This was a pretty fun deck, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.